there's an antichrist that's coming. There's going to be a temple in Jerusalem that's coming. All of these things are coming to an head. Uh, to head. It's not a surprise that Russia is in the news every day. It's not a surprise that you have all these things going on just north of the northern border of Israel. Folks, everything is coming together exactly as the Bible says it would. And then you look at this with Israel uh, entering into these relationships with their surrounding neighbors. Folks, this is absolutely remarkable. I can't help but encourage you. Listen, as we start putting all things together, if you take the Bible and start putting the things together that are in the Bible regarding the signs of the last days, maybe you have friends that say, hey, you can't believe any of that stuff. It's just a bunch of conspiracy theories, blah, 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 blah. Listen, the Bible gives us these things so that we can know. It was in Second Chronicles with ancient Israel where they understood the signs so they knew what Israel needed to do. The Bible gives us signs or events so that we can know. Jesus even said to his disciples, see, I told you these things beforehand. Why? So that we would know. And there's hundreds of signs of the second coming of Christ. And Israel, an antichrist, uh, a, a coming temple, and, and, and all of these other events taking place at the same time. And then we look at this with Saudi Arabia. Folks, this is absolutely remarkable. I want to say this. In the words of Jesus, Luke chapter 21, when you see these things begin to take place, look up and lift up your head because your redemption draws near. But I can tell you, trust in governments now is being lost. Not only here, because of a certain mental capacity of <laughs> no it's all over the world go to the uk go to france go to holland go to belgium go to go to the the, uh, the scandinavian countries go to israel we have a new government the government of change What happens is, Romans 1 talks about this. Yes, in yes. Romans chapter 1, we read about how when people reject God, ultimately, they also reject truth. The two go together. When you reject God, by default, you end up rejecting truth. And when you reject truth, you lose your ability to even know what's reality and what's not reality anymore. And we are living in a world where there are a lot of people who live in some kind of imagined alternate reality. Right. And we think, how can you possibly arrive at that conclusion? And it just shows the power of the blindness that Satan brings upon the world through deception. 